Hi everyone, I'm David Wackenfeld, the Chief Scientist at the Great Barrier Reef Marine Park Authority. I'm here to give you the latest in our series of summer reef health updates. Given the extreme rainfall that we saw in early and mid-February and the extensive flood plumes from many rivers in the Great Barrier Reef, not surprisingly we do have widespread reports of isolated colonies of corals bleaching and that is from stress associated with those flood plumes. But the good news is that we don't have any reports of significant impacts anywhere and very, very few reports of any form of mortality from those flood plume impacts. Back in late February, Cyclone Omar brought some significant wind and waves to southern parts of the Great Barrier Reef. Now, we don't have many specific reports from those areas since then, but at least the reports we do have don't indicate any significant wave damage in the southern Great Barrier Reef, which is good news. Now that the summer is over on the Great Barrier Reef, the risks of further extreme weather events have diminished. They're not completely over, but they are less than they were a few weeks ago. So as a consequence, we're going to slow down the pace of these updates. And instead of doing them every week, we're going to do the next one in two weeks time. 